Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll be showing you how to fix a particular issue and this problem is with the Google Classroom and of course this is for persons who are taking a personal quiz or tests using their um, the Google Classroom application. I'm going to show you an error that can happen as soon as students start taking their tests where they're getting the you need permission um, warning or error and how to get past it or to fix the problem. Alright guys, so I took a screenshot of the error based on what was happening and it's just as you see here where it shows on screen whenever a person or a student um, tries to take a quiz, it says you need permission. This form can only be viewed by users in the owner's organization. Try contacting the owner of the form if you think this is a mistake. Learn more. Report abuse. Google Forms. Sorry. So this one is for um, Google Forms or of course anybody who is trying to take a quiz test or any other similar setup that's run through google classroom or using google forms all right so that particular error guys all right that particular error guys has to do with the classroom app um, and of course i'll show you a scenario let's say for example you are sent a link to take a survey or a test and of course as soon as you try to do that um, you got that error this will mainly happen with students like with schools and so on so if you tap on classroom when you go to your classes and you click on the quiz uh, what's happening while you're getting this error is because of course on your mobile whenever you try to open a quiz it opens into a browser all right and as soon as it goes to the browser and as soon as it goes to a browser you might not realize it yes so when it goes to a browser you not, might not realize it but it has left the um, classroom app and what's that means that in the classroom app you're already logged in but of course when you go to the browser you're not logged in so as a result of that no what's happening is because of that particular reason you're getting the error you do not have permission so you might not have seen or noticed that that switch has happened so in order to overcome this problem i suggest that you use um, google chrome and set that as your default browser or whatever browser that you're in go ahead and sign in from that browser so you can actually go to google and once you're at google go ahead and um, sign in in general and once you sign into your account using your gmail and the password that was provided by the institution that's giving the test after this, you guys, you can go ahead again and either um, go to class. And from here, you can open up um, the application or you can go back again after signing into the browser and open from here. And of course, once it opens the browser, you'll still be logged in since you have logged in from the browser. Once you do that, you'll be able to take your tests and the problem will be fixed quite easy once you realize what the problem is. Um, the problem can be fixed also by using a um, laptop. If you're on a laptop, you should not have the issue because um, once you log into your browser on your laptop, you should be good as um, any link that's open will keep on opening the browser and the problem should be fixed. So if you're having that particular issue where you said um, you need permission, the only reason why you're having this is because um, the test is not open in classroom. It's actually open in a browser. So make sure that your default browser is already logged into Google, um, the Google Classroom in general. Or um, make sure it's logged into the um, browser that, that opens as your default. So in um, any case, it might be Chrome or some other browsers. So make sure that you're logged into your Google account there and the test will open and work fine. And of course, the error should go away where it says you need permission. Um, some other things that you can try to fix the error guys make sure that all your apps are also updated so go to um, google search for a google classroom make sure the classroom app is updated also go in sorry also go in and go to my apps and games and make sure that all of your apps are updated so make sure all of those are up to date make sure your phone itself is updated so go to settings general and of course make sure that you do the latest software update um, to make sure that your phone is up to date. So go to software update on the settings and make sure you download the latest install of your updates. And if you do all that guys, you should, if you do all that guys, you should be good. And that's how to fix the error. Uh, you need permission. Alright, if you have any questions, ask them below. Ricardo Garner from Block Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.